back to Saudi Soul Arts. Today I'm going to be doing my first video tutorial where I will teach you how to create your own abstract art upcycle photo frame. So I'm not going to jabber on, I'm going to just get straight on with the demo. First of all you'll need an old frame that you're happy to upcycle. I'm showing the demo using a piece of wood because I've already painted the frame I'll be working on. You need a fine bit of sandpaper uh, so that you don't create lots of ridges and um, it's just mainly to get rid of the varnish and um, make sure the surface is clean, no grease or old paint left on it. Once you've completed this bit you'll need a little piece of cloth, uh, preferably damp, just to wipe off any uh, excess dust, make sure it's thoroughly dry before we crack on with the next part. For this I'll be using a regular house paint but for my main frame I use black masonry paint which is suitable for plastics, metals and woods. Stir it really thoroughly and then remove any excess paint like I'm doing with a brush. Then uh, prepare your space, oh, make sure you're wearing clothes uh, that you don't mind getting paint on just in case you like me and get a bit messy. Um, Prepare your area, cover your space with either paper or some plastic or fabric that you also don't mind getting paint on. Then you're ready to paint. Put a nice thick coat of paint all over your frame. Having it on a piece of paper is really handy because you can turn it like this and uh, get all the corners and sides without getting any fingerprints on. Once this is done, leave it to dry and give it a second coat. If you hadn't already you would have needed to take out the back and the glass before sanding and painting. I'm um, just taking it out again now because I use Moscas so often so I've decided to show you a whole bunch of techniques that I use on this one project. You can use any sort of acrylics, that's what I would recommend, they just last longer. My thing is, I just start wherever I like. I'm usually really comfortable using paisley patterns, but choose whatever you feel comfortable with. If you like kind of Aztec -y styles, maybe flowers, um, skeletons, anything that really you're happy to doodle. Look at drawings for references if you like. I kind of just doodle without thinking too much. It's just something I'm very used to doing. So here's a little speed through of different techniques. I'll give you tips along the way. Here's one technique that I like to use if you want to make the colours really pop. Use white underneath as a base coat. So I'm doodling up an area just using white and then later I'll be adding colour on top of that. I also like to get a bit of water, a thin brush, and uh, blend my colours using those. So here I've put the green down and then a bit of yellow on top of it. Then take the brush, dry it off a little bit, keep it very lightly moist, and you can use it to blend the colours really nicely together. Here's another tip, you can use different colours on top of each other, but sometimes the other colour will get on to uh, the felt of the tip so you can wipe it off on a piece of paper until it's clear and back to how it was. After I've added all the big chunky bits I add on all the details just keep adding details until I know I'm done so I go from chunky designs to smaller and smaller like this also don't be afraid to experiment over here I'm adding silver on top of the white and I'll be smudging it with my finger just to create a different sort of texture. You can experiment with the uh, tissues or some cloth and make different patterns with stencils and things too. Um, just have a go and play around, see what you're comfortable with. Once you're done, leave it to dry for about 24 hours, then you're ready to varnish. I'll be spray varnishing today. I'm not going to be using the Montana spray, although it's fantastic for outdoor projects. I'll be using the Windsor and Newton spray for whatever you're using, read your instructions and follow them carefully. 
It's definitely better to be outdoors and if you're using something strong, wear gloves and a mask too. Spray it all thoroughly. I'm using the box again so I can turn it around easily and get all the sides in one go without having to wait around for sides to dry. Once you're done, turn your can upside down and spray it to clear the nozzle. Now leave your frame to dry. Here's my final piece. I hope you've enjoyed watching this. I look forward to seeing yours too. Do tag me in Instagram or post them to my Facebook page. Both of the links will be below, as will the link to my Etsy shop where I'll be posting this. I just opened it last week, so do have a nosy around and let me know what you think. Any questions, post them below if I've forgotten anything else in this video. Thank you for watching, I hope you've enjoyed it, do give it a thumbs up if you have and uh, subscribe for more tutorials and new therapeutic techniques I'm coming up with, so I'm very much looking forward to sharing them with you, thank you for watching, bye!